Hello everyone, I'm Antoine, the developer behind the developer tool called Rocket Sim. Rocket Sim is a menu bar application as you can see here, and it comes with all kinds of actions like starting recordings, cleaning up Swift UI previews, caching, or deleting derived data real quickly. Rocket Sim, however, is not just a menu bar application. If you focus on the simulator, you can see that a new window shows up. The window is full of actions that I want to take you through today. It comes with design tools, quick actions, and environment overrides that you can use. And the window nicely follows along wherever you take the simulator. Recordings in Rocket Sim are unique. You can add device whistles, enable touches, or record the audio. Here's an example recording I made earlier today. You can see that the attention effect shows the touches constantly, shows the drags, and even the audio works as expected. Isn't that great? Creating screenshots has never been easier. Enable App Preview Optimized, create a screenshot, wait till it's finished, and drag it directly into App Store Connect. Implementing designs is a lot more fun with Rocket Sim. Here I got the design for the stock detail page. We enable it, which will start with an opacity overlay, but we can also compare side by side. And dragging from right to left shows that the graph is just a little too low. We can enable the grip, and I already see that it's about 20 pixels, pixels difference. But if we enable the rulers mode, we can drag a horizontal ruler, press shift, and we can see that it's exactly 20 pixels off, which will help us to further optimize this view. Another great tool is the magnifier. You can find it next to the comparing tool. It works by holding shift and move it around the view. With a two finger drag, we can zoom in. And if we hold it on top of a certain color, release shift, we can find the exact color code here. You can copy it as code for NS color, UI color, and Swift UI color to directly use it inside your projects. Simulator Airplane mode allows you to test your app when there's no networking connection available. Here we open the Apple stock and the data is loaded into cache. Then we enable Airplane mode. We open the stock again and we can see that it still works as expected. Other stocks, however, that haven't been loaded into cache will keep showing the spinner. So this is perfect to test your app when there's no networking connection available. Rocket Sim works great for apps that require location access or work with different time zones. On the right side, you can see that I configured a few locations, one being a route from Amsterdam to Utrecht, but as well single locations like New York and San Francisco. In this example, I will relaunch and activate the time zone of the location that I want to activate. For example, New York. The app will relaunch and you can see that the current time zone is now set to New York. You can test your app with location access directly into the simulator and you no longer have to drive in the car while debugging your Xcode project. RocketSync comes with a specific perform menu. It has all kinds of actions like grant permissions, revoke permissions, or reset permissions, which works great for things like location access or photos access. Many common folders can be accessed with a single click. You can even open your user defaults or launch, terminate, relaunch and uninstall the app. One thing I like in particular is relaunching the app in a specific time zone or relaunching in one of the locales your app supports. My app supports both Dutch and English and since it's in Dutch right now, I just want to try to see how it looks when relaunching in English. Wow, that looks great! Testing your app for accessibility is important, and Rocket Sim is here to help. There are many accessibility toggles that you can try out, for example, to see if your app works well with bold text, and I have something to do here. You can also turn off or on dark mode, and you can change the dynamic type to the size you want to test. You can see that there's still some work to do, but it makes testing a lot easier. Make sure to put your votes on the roadmap, since I really want to build what you want to see in Rocket Sim. There are also many settings for you to still explore, customization options with shortcuts, 
all your app actions, comparing configurations, capture settings, and general settings. If there's a feature missing, make sure to press the feature request button, which will bring you into GetUp where you can open an issue accordingly. I'm more than happy to build what you like to see, and I look forward to building new features that help you build apps faster.